Welcome everyone to Beyond the Matrix Reinvention Training. I'm really excited to share this training with you. I've often said it's taken four years to create this training, but actually it's a lot more than that. It's probably more 30 years of my training in leadership and in coaching that I've developed this training for you guys. Uh, this training is like no other. Who is it for? It's for, I believe it's for everyone. And the reason I say that is that if you have any problems in your life or have had a pattern of problems in your life, whether that be health, relationships, business, uh, whether it be money, whatever that challenge has been, that pattern of behaviour, most of the time, and this is a hard pill to swallow sometimes, most of the time we have created those problems. And we have created those problems due to our thinking. Now, our thinking comes from what we believe, our beliefs, our values, our experiences, how we were brought up, how we're socially conditioned. And so if, if we don't change those faulty maybe beliefs or values that aren't serving us to get our results that we want, then something's got to change. And sometimes we're doing the same type of behaviours that we we sort of look at it and we go, we don't know. Like, I, I don't know why I do what I do. And so this is really getting into looking behind the curtain to see what are those beliefs and values that you've instilled, that socially social conditioning that's happened around you that has created this faulty thinking because if you have faulty thinking, Faulty thinking equals faulty results. And so that's what Beyond the Matrix is and that reinvention of who you think you are. So it's for people that want to change their life in a really positive way. It's also for coaches or leaders because once you learn this stuff, and I know that a lot of coaches have done a lot of work in regards to beliefs and values, you cannot do enough work in regards to beliefs and values because they are so ingrained. Sometimes we don't even know they're there. And to know where they've come from, like that social conditioning, where have they come from? We're socially conditioned all the time and we don't even realise it. So I'm going to touch on a little bit about that in a moment. But for us as coaches or leaders in our life, leaders of others, whether we be a parent, whether we're a teacher, we're a trainer, a coach, a leadership of a team, if we can understand how people think and perhaps why they think the way they think, how we can influence them in a positive or negative way, how we are actually socially conditioning people. It's really important because as leaders, we have a huge role to play and we can either empower people to move forward or we can sometimes unconsciously and unknowingly disempower people. So that's what it's for. It's for a lot of people. So if you're interested, keep watching. We go, I'm going to go through some slides in a moment to show you what this course is about and to see if it's for you. So the first slide is reinvention training program. So we use, I use NLP, which is like, it's called neuro-linguistic programming. So it's like a manual for your mind in my training. And I use extended disc human uh, behavioral programming. So it's really understanding what makes you tick and what makes others tick. So I use those two modalities, you could call them, uh, in my training and a lot more than that. So you'll see here I say that it's to help individuals undergo a paradigm shift that elevates their awareness, enabling a mindful and purposeful way of living. So it's really looking, when I say another para paradigm shift, what does that mean? Well, it's like we're 
are in this world, right? And all we see is what's around us. Sometimes we can't. Have you ever met someone and you think they're on another freaking planet than me? Well, that's because maybe they're seeing things in a completely different way than you are. Who's right? Who's wrong? It's understanding that we are all living in some type of paradigm and there's other points of views, other beliefs, other values, other experiences that maybe we're not aware of that affect our decision-making. And here I put a quote here, upgrading your paradigm and broadening your world view leads to informed choices, superior decisions, enhanced results and a purposeful life. So it's really making sure that we're, we're busting through that paradigm and seeing what's out there. So the next slide is a great quote from Steve Jobs. And Steve says, Here's to the crazy ones, the misfits, the rebels, the troublemakers, the round pegs in the square holes, the ones who see things differently. They're not fond of rules and they have no respect for the status quo. You can quote them, disagree with them, glorify or vilify them, uh, vilify them. About the only thing you can't do is ignore them because they change things. They push the human race forward. And while some may see them as the crazy ones, we see genius because the people who are crazy enough to think they can change the world are the ones who do. Now, some of you might be going, oh, I don't like, oh, yeah, they're the troublemakers. They are the troublemakers or they're the rule breakers. You might have a different feeling when you listen to this quote. But I believe that there's so much truth in that. But I also believe that for anyone to think that they can positively change the world, one person is is amazing is to be able to say I can make an impact in whatever way that is uh, and so this is what this is about really understanding if we can be the best version of ourselves and be as wise as we possibly can be then we can make a bigger impact on the world and so I'll give you a little bit of an insight of me and what my vision is. So my vision is to create a world of empowered people who inspire others. And that has been my vision all along. I think everyone is a leader in life, whether you know it or not. You might be a mother, a father, stay-at-home mum looking after kids. You're a leader. You're absolutely a leader. You could be somebody leading a, a team leader that's looking after 50 people. You could be somebody that is leading projects and having to consult with other people. We are all leaders in life. We are leaders of self, our self-leadership. And so it's important for us to do that as effective as we can. What is our mission? Is to passionately inspire, educate and empower leaders to be the change makers that positively impact the world, whatever that means to you. And you'll see that here's a, my core values in my business. And I'll get to, to be authentic in a moment, but I'll skip to have fun, don't take yourself too seriously, love your tribe and fi find them and, and love them hard, insatiable learning, so have childlike curiosity. So I encourage you to do that when I'm talking through this, these slides today. Have tra create transformational change. So not just a little bit of change, but deep change. And so, again, you have to be open to that. You've got to have that fun and childlike curiosity to be able to, to create that change and to serve with heart space, so serve with great intentions. Now, if I go back to be authentic, you'll see that I said speak our truth firstly. And it's interesting, is it speak our truth or speak the truth? Uh, I've changed that to speak the truth because if we're talking about social conditioning, when I took, looked at my old core values and I looked at that language, that language came from social conditioning. It wasn't something I used to say. And then I looked at it and I thought, is that really relevant to me? Is it speak my truth or is it speak the truth? And for me, it's speak the truth. Uh, and so we're going we're gonna to get into language a little bit uh, later on when we look at social conditioning. And these are some of the 
this is my board of all these thoughts and all these sayings that are important to me in my business. Have childlike curiosity. You were born to shine. Be an insatiable learner. Show up. Celebrate your success. All those things that I stand for. And this is a little bit about me having over 20 years experience in the retail space, space and coaching. Uh, I've worked with, I had some amazing training from NLP to hypnotherapy to extended disc behavioural profiling. I've worked with amazing people like Tony Robbins, Sharon Pearson, Joe Parne, and I've worked with amazing businesses like Mars, Melbourne Airport, uh, Australia Post, Aveda, just to name a few, JAG. And I've worked with some really broad people from uh, mums and dads to small business owners to athletes to actors to authors to coaches to influencers to TV personalities. I've worked with a really great range of people. And I've been interviewed for different uh, on different platforms like Bay FM, ABC Radio, Pulse Radio, The Age, Geelong Addy, those type of things. Now, I love, I've put this quote up in regards to the new paradigm. So what I've said here, here is, most of us are walking through life in a trance state, unaware of the social conditioning that has warped our thinking. We see the world through a hazy lens that was created by our environment. Our decisions are outcomes of our programming and who we think we are has been moulded by others. It's time to look behind the curtain, dive into the psychology of manipulation and open our eyes to the vast possibilities that are available to us. Only then can we redesign our lives to align with our deepest purpose. Now, it's pretty deep and you can see this image of the Wizard of Oz. And those of you that have seen the Wizard of Oz uh, or haven't seen the Wizard of Oz, you know that there is this big wizard, this scary wizard that controls everything and he's really scary. But then they find out that it actually is just this old man pulling some strings and you know, putting the image up of this scary person with a you know digital voice uh, and it was all just uh, behind the curtains. It was actually just, it wasn't real, right? It was just an image, a facade. And so, again, it's about that paradigm shift of what's happening and, and what are you, how are you being socially conditioned to think this is, this is what it really is, but what is it really? <laughs> um, so we're going to go into deeply into that. And it's like this, right, your perception, your perception versus reality. You can see here that you've got, if you're looking through that, tele, that TV screen or that camera, and what you see is somebody perhaps looking like they've got a knife and they're attacking that other person. But in reality, when you see a bigger picture, you'll see that it's the other way around. This other person is attacking him with a knife and this other person's running away. Strange sort of thought, I know. But, but that's the reality when you see the big picture. So our perception is everything. It's everything. I remember seeing a protest and people were up in arms because there was this horse that was being uh, that uh, was being assaulted. And on one side it looked like the horse was being assaulted. On the other angle, it wasn't that at all. It was a completely different image. So it's really amazing what we see. Sometimes we think that's reality and we will we will argue black and blue that that is the truth, but maybe it isn't. Maybe we're not seeing that whole picture and that's that paradigm that we want to get out of. Now, this is how we filter information. Now, I'm not going to go too much into this, but I want you to imagine where there's an external event, right? So I always give this example, a very simple example of two people are in the room. One person is really scared of dogs and the other person adores dogs like me. So if we look here, it's an external event happens. So two people in a room and in comes a dog. Now what happens is that's an external event and these, these two people, myself and the other person, will look 
at that event and we'll filter in what's happening into our brain through our senses. So we might smell the dog, we'll see the dog, we'll, we might feel what's happening in the air, we might touch the dog. We will experience what's happening through all of our senses. Now, just a side note, they say, and I don't know how accurate this is, they say there's about 2 million pieces of information that go through our mind every second, right? Uh, whether that's right or wrong, I don't know. But let's just say there's a lot of damn information that goes through our minds every second. And I know that to be true. Why? When we're sitting here, if you think about wherever you are right now, so you might be sitting in your office, you might be standing up doing the dishes, I don't know what you're doing. But if you stop, and you think of everything that's happening in your world around you right now, there's a lot of damn things happening. And you're filtering some of them out because you'd go crazy if you saw the 2 million pieces of information all, all, all at once, right? So if you're sitting down, you may not right now be thinking about how your bottom feels on the seat, right, until now, now that I've directed your thought there. You may not be thinking about how your tongue's feeling in your mouth but you are now because I've just directed your thought there. You may not be feeling the air on your on your skin or the hair that might be touching touching your neck or the, the clothes that are touching your skin. You may not be aware of that. You may not be aware of the humming or there might be a fridge. Well, there might be the rain right now. I'm here and hearing the rain. You stop. What else can you hear? Is there something that you blocked out and now you can hear it? So all of this stuff that's coming into our world, we are putting it through like a funnel system. See, I've got a funnel up there. Now, just pretend there's a pretend funnel that goes in. Before it goes into your brain, you are filtering it. Because you can't keep 2 million pieces of information out there at once. So you've got to filter it. You've got to filter all the information. Some of it, I don't really, really want to pay attention to that right now because it's just too much information. And so you filter this information. And what happens when you filter it, you might generalise the information. So it's like when you go to a retail store, you might go, oh, yeah, there's no great service at Maya, for instance. Well, you're generalising it. You're taking one situation and then you're saying that happens everywhere, right? You might distort it. You might change it. So you might look at the dog and you might distort the image of the dog in some way. And the way that I would distort might be completely different to the person that is scared of the dog. So I might look at the dog and what I see is cute little teeth and beautiful floppy ears and beautiful little puppy dog eyes, the person next to me who's scared of the dog might look at the same dog and look at the teeth and think those teeth are sharp. The way the dog's looking at me, it looks like it it's, wants to bite me. It looks dangerous. So the same situation, but we're distorting the image of the dog. And then we're deleting stuff as well. We're deleting things in our world. That's why when you see someone that has uh, an accident and there's three different people that see the accident, you'll have three different versions of what happened based on where they were standing, what they saw, how they saw the people, what their values were, what their morals are, what their memories are. Because that person that's scared of dogs may have been bitten by a dog. So part of her filter system, it goes through any memories, experience of childhood, beliefs, values, meta programs, which I go through in, in my course. So you're filtering all this information and she might go straight to a memory of being bit by a dog and then she's suddenly thinking that dog is like the other dog that bit her. So it goes through the filter system and then what pops out in the end is you get a picture of the situation, an internal representation of how you see the situation, which then creates a state of how you are being and your physiology. So for me, I might get excited. My heart might go quicker because I'm thinking, oh, look at that cute 
little dog, right? And I might get excited. My physiology might change. I might, I might smile. I might lean forward. My eyes might light up. Whereas the sick person beside me might get sweaty. They had their heart rate might go up because they're fearful. They might step back. They might get serious. And then what happens is, see that the physiology changes and then out pops the behaviour of what they might do. So I might then move over and walk over to the dog, pick the dog up, give it a cuddle, give it a pat, give it a kiss and enjoy the moment. The other person might leave the room, stand on a chair, walk away, cry, get angry, get angry because someone's brought the dog in, whatever that is. So the behaviour will happen. So that there's an outcome to that event. And even though the event is exactly the same, it's the same dog, two different people will experience it in two different ways. So the outcome, the result is different and the experience is different. One would have a great experience and the other one not so much. So it's important to understand the difference between what we can influence and what we can't because often it's really freaking frustrating if we're sitting in a space of wanting to control something that we can't control, that's frustration. So you'll see here that there's different levels of control. So there's things outside of our control that we cannot control, right? But then there's things that we can influence and then there's things that we can control. So things that I can control is that that's your circle of control and that's where you can make the biggest impact on change in your life. But then there's things, it's a circle of influence. You can influence, but you can't quite control it. And then there's the circle of concern, whereas you cannot control that area. So you may not be able to control what's happening to you, but you can control how you respond to it. And that's the difference. How are you responding to different things in your life? My quote here is, flawed thinking is part of the human condition. Our task is to stay mindful, recognise these patterns and implement corrective measures. Faulty thinking equates to faulty results. But sometimes we don't even know that we've got faulty thinking. How do we know? I mentioned at the start of this video that often we will think that we've got this pattern of behaviour. Why do these pat this pattern keeps coming up and up and up? Maybe it's a health issue. And it is a big, hard hill to swallow to recognise that sometimes we are creating these things in our life and understanding that it's a pattern of behaviour and it is, it is faulty thinking. So we've got to acknowledge where, what that is and how we come about and how can we change that. So life's problems, as I mentioned, your thinking has a direct link to most of the problems in your life from health concerns, money hardships, work challenges, relationship issues, mental health issues, feeling stuck, identity of who you think you are. If you're envious of others, you have stress, limit, you're limiting your potential and you know it. Suffering anxiety, all of these things have a direct link to your thinking most of the time and remembering the areas that you control and influence. A lot of these things, a lot of the time, we can control or influence. I love my mate Tony who says what we can or cannot do, what we consider possible or impossible is rarely a function of our true capability. It is more likely a function of our beliefs about who we are. And I think that is such a strong quote. He also says there is a powerful driving force inside every human being that once unleashed can make any vision, dream or desire a reality. I, I'm not sure if there's everything that we can make become a reality, but I get 
what he was saying is that we have this amazing potential within us and once unleashed, we can create more than we can possibly imagine we can create. And I love that um, with Tony Robbins. So I'm going to get into the reinvention program and tell you what it's about. Now, there's two programs that I want to talk about today. I'm going to briefly talk about the second one, which is Be Your Own Best Coach, and that's a one-on-one -on -one coaching with me. The Beyond the Matrix one is a group live training series that I'm going to go into with you guys. So it's Beyond the Matrix. It's reinventing who you think you are, so the new version of you from your old self to your future self. It's looking at the human identity formula, social conditioning, the human identity formula, uh, which is your human behavioural code and how what makes people tick. And then you've got Own Your Voice, Mastering Authentic Expression. And so that's public speaking or speaking up. And then it's reinvention strategies and an identity shift. So that's what I've just talked about there. So this is the human identity formula. So this is the social condition. If you look on the right side, it's about family imprint. So how you've got your values and beliefs from your family, culture, politics, religion. And then you've got the human behavioural code, which is profiling, understanding what makes you tick, human needs, meta programs, which is part of your filter system of how you see the world and what's important to you. And I'll give you an example of that. Some of us might be focused on cost, for instance, and others might be focused on convenience. So therefore, if someone is more focused on cost than convenience or convenience and cost, they're going to make very different decisions to each other. And, of course, this will vary depending on what it is, whether it's a car or whether it's a book. However, there will be one that they lean to more than other others. So if somebody, for instance, for me, if I went to buy a fridge and I loved the fridge and I wanted it straight, I, I would want it probably straight away. And if at, if the salesperson said to me that I'll give you $50 off if you buy it today, that wouldn't urge me too much to, to buy compared to someone that actually says, this fridge, I can get this, I can get this sent today. I can put it in. You can have it ready for the weekend for when you have people over and you can have it all stocked and ready to go. So you've got an extra fridge for when you entertain this weekend. And we're going to fix everything. We'll get your old fridge. We'll get rid of that. It's all done for you. You don't have to worry about delivering, installing. We'll do it all for you. Unpack, take the rubbish away. I'll be like, yay, they're speaking my language. So the meta programs are, are programs like that. And defining moments, different times in your life that have made a big impact on how you think. So that's the defining moment. And here you've got also your perception of you and then how others perceive you. And that's an interesting, uh, an interesting thing to explore as well. So beyond the, the matrix is broad. It is all about all these different areas of how we think from religious beliefs, from television, superstitions, labelling, relationships, money, celebrities, personality, your personality, who you think you are, the, your identity, medicine, sexuality, birth, death. Voting, government, it's all of these things that create who you think you are and help make you decisions, make decisions in your life. And so we, we discuss all of this in our program. So what does the program look like? Well, there's four series and they're two-day live trainings in Geelong. So the first one is the human identity formula, which is all around social conditioning. So we talk about the political compass, Overton window. So that's how society shifts all the time and why that shifts. You know, where does that come from? Where do our morals come from? And some, you might say, oh, from my 
family? Where did their family get it from? Where did your mum and dad get it from? Oh, they family. But where, why is it shifting all the time? Who does that? Where did that come from? So we'll talk about that. The manipulation and psychology, NLP, deprogramming of your cognitive biases, advanced emotional intelligence, cognitive reasoning, constructive debating, awareness of hypnosis, so that's all going to be discussed on August 22nd and 23rd, 2024, live, two-day live training in Geelong, really in depth. The outcomes of that is really making sure you understand how you're socially programmed, how others are socially programmed, what your beliefs are, what your morals are, what your values are, where they came from, what you want to change, what you want to get rid of, what you want to tweak, how those all those things relate to the results you're getting or the non-results that you're getting. Really, really powerful stuff. Series two is human identity formula again, but then talking about the human behavioral code. So what makes you tick? What makes others tick? Behavioral agility. So being able to flex your style. We talk about meta programs, the filter system, defining moments in your life psychological profiling techniques, masterful communication, learning how to read people, understanding your strengths and your watch hours. So this is in October 10th and 11th, and that, again, it's a two-day live training in Geelong. Series three is all about owning your voice, mastering authentic expression. So for those of you that want to do Zoom, want to do public speaking in front of an audience, whether it be on stage, whether it be speaking at your son or daughter's wedding, whether it be speaking up at work, at a meeting, speaking confidently to your boss, speaking confidently in your family and in your friend circle, speaking up for what you believe in, all of that comes into owning your voice. So that's in November 28th and 29th, two-day live workshop in Geelong. So it's speaking with confidence, becoming a change maker, influencing hearts and minds, delivering powerful messages, advocating your standpoint, influential language, power of body language, presenting without notes, expressing your authenticity and dropping that mask because we all wear a mask to protect ourselves. It's dropping that and being able to be who you are in a really authentic way. And the last one is reinvention strategies and identity shifts. So that's February next year on the 6th and 7th, 2025, two-day live training in Geelong. It's a power of habits. We have habits that we need to change once our identity shifts. So if it's somebody that identifies in the past as someone who loves to drink wine on the weekends and is a fun-loving party-goer, if you're then changing to a non-drinker, there is habits that you need to change together with your identity of who you were to who you are now. There has to be a shift in that. So we do the power of habits, habit stacking, belief busters, a value elicitation. You'll have personality shifting archetypes. We're going to do archetypes of different characters we can, that you can tap into. So we're, we're quite diverse creatures. Sometimes you'll notice with yourself, sometimes you might feel introverted and other times you might feel extroverted. Now, you might people might go, oh, you're really extrovert. You're a real big extra. But then you know in your heart that there's times where you're not extrovert. You like to stay home, just watch a movie. So there's different sides to your personality, the different characters that we're going to also touch on. And sometimes what, we, what happens is in life we feel that we need to be a certain way for how other people uh, have sort of taught us to be. And once we break through that, we can actually be even more our authentic selves by understanding that. Your new identity will be designed and you'll have clarity of purpose and a clearer life goal plan, which we will create in the course. So again, all of this is for 
anyone that has problems or has continued problems in your life in any area because most of the time you have created those problems. And for any of the leaders in the life, particularly coaches and people that lead others, this course is going to be amazing for you because then you'll understand yourself, but you'll also understand others a lot more effectively. So here it is, two-day training, which what I said, you will have pre and post, post pre-work. So you'll have some homework at the start in preparation for your course. And then you'll have after the course, there's also some, some work that you do. You'll get a certificate on completion of the two days. Once you complete two days of the training, you'll have a training folder uh, as well with all course materials. So the training outcomes are to, to, these are some of them, there's lots of them that you'll get, but the main ones are deprogramming your cognitive biases, elevating your belief and value systems, crafting your redesigned identity, heightening cognitive reasoning, advanced emotional intelligence, psychological profiling techniques, resourceful behavioural flexibility, cultivate meaningful relationships, expand global awareness, Authentic expression, constructive debating, masterful communication, and advocate for your standpoint. So some of these here, when I look at expand global awareness, it's so interesting because when I was at school, I didn't really like history. I didn't really like science. And now that one of the things that I really, really want to make sure that I can continue to develop. And I often say I'm an insatiable learner, but wisdom is so important. And for me, I want to be the wisest person I can possibly be. So to be wise in the world, you need to expand your thinking. You need to understand what's happening in the world at some level. So for me as a leader, in business as a leader of others and a coach, it's important for me to make sure that I understand how the world works, whether that be from history, from science, because everything's connected. And so I'm on this journey, continually on this journey. I'll be, if I'm blessed to live until 100 or whatever I live to, I really want to make sure that I invest my time in being as wise as I possibly can and understanding how things work. And the other thing I wanted to mention is constructive debating. We, as in our society in Australia, I don't think that we do enough debating so that we can actually expand our thinking and respectful debating, having really in-depth discussions with people so that we can all learn about each other, what makes people tick, how we can maybe learn about things that we might change our mind on. I know that when I was young, my dad would always say, don't talk about politics or religion. And I believed that for a long time in my life. I don't believe that anymore because how do you learn and grow? How do you understand things? How do you understand how people, other people think? if you don't have these type of conversations. And I think we haven't learnt to have really great conversations with maybe some topics that some people might think are a little bit prickly. Um, do they need to be? They don't need to be. So it's the way that you have those conversations. So Taking control of your thinking means that you are then living consciously. You're being able to see things behind the curtain. By, it's like Wizard of Oz looking behind the curtain and seeing what's there, seeing another perspective, being able to make informed decisions in your life, which will then help all of those issues in your life from health problems, relationships, lack of direction, anxiety, stress, who you think you are, work challenges, family pressures, all of those things by understanding how you think and being more informed so that you can critically think more effectively. So these courses, these two-day trainings, 
You can have one, you can go to two, you can go to three if you like. Uh, so you can purchase them individually. They are at, at, in Geelong at my location, at my house, and the times are 10 to 5, so they're a whole day. They're $497 for two days. So that is a fantastic, anyone that's done any of my trainings knows that my two-day trainings are usually 2997 So 497 for a two-day course is extremely of great value, particularly with what you're going to, going to take away with you. You can save if you buy a complete package of four courses, which is 1750. Not only that, you not only do you get the whole training program right up until February, you will also get a bonus two hour one on one session with me, which is valued at $500. So even if you wanted three of the trainings and you said, I didn't want to do one of them, it's still more valuable to get the whole lot because you're going to get a $500 one-on-one -on -one with me anyway, and maybe you could gift the other one. However, I would say to you, it's really great if you can do all of them, even if you've done public speaking before, even if you've done beliefs before. This will be a different, I have never been, and I'm, I invest in all of my, my self-development. I've gone to the US and worked with, Tony Robbins, I've done uh, Lisa Nichols programs in Florida. You know, I invest in personal development. I love it. I'm, a, I'm an insatiable reader. You can see my books behind. However, it's so important to understand that this is different than what I've ever seen before. The conversations we will have in the room, you won't see them anywhere else that you, you've been before. You're going to be challenged like you've never been challenged before. And that's a good thing because that's where the change, that transformational change is going to happen. And remembering with those that have got your own business uh, that it could be part of tax deduction as well. So making sure that you keep that in mind. And there's also payment plans for those that, that want them so you can talk to me about those. I'd rather you talk about it if you're thinking, I really want to do it, but I don't know how I'm going to do it. Let's have the discussion because this is going to change the way you think and therefore change the results in your life. Now, the coaching program, uh, touching on that, that's a one-on-one -on -one coaching program. So it's a different program. It's one-on-one. -on -one. We go through six models. So we talk about uh, a, set, um, a set, which is where are you now. We talk about aim. You set all your goals, awareness, behavioural profiling, so we understand we go into your behavioural profile there. Align, so we look at your values and beliefs and we align them to your goals that you've set. And then we talk about amplifying, so empowering your communication strategy and then we activate the way forward. So it's a 12-week program and it's six fortnightly sessions that we have, which is about 90 minutes with me. You get a coaching workbook, you get an online training program as well, uh, and you get an extended disc profile that I work with you on. And it's a self-paced training program also that you get that you can dip in and, and out of. So that's 1997 per person uh, plus GST. And it, again, there's payment pl plans for that. So what do we use? I mentioned before what we what I use in my coaching, whether it be extended disc. Of course, there's all of the advanced coaching techniques that I use. And then there's also NLP, neurolinguistic programming that I use in my coaching. And these are some of the people that, companies that I've worked with, Racing, Victoria, uh, Oakley, Cook Eye, um, some different businesses there, Melbourne Airport. And here's some individuals that I've worked with. Uh, amazing George Jajewski, who is our Ge a Geelong boy, who has just gone strength to strength with uh, his, uh, his business. And he does lunch boxes. He does these. Look, at, look him up in on Insta. He's amazing. I don't know how many followers he's got um, at the moment, but uh, he's been on different 
shows like Weekend Sunrise on Channel 7, Destination Happiness on Channel 9, The Morning Show. Uh, he's just done amazing things. One of his videos hit 3 million views. It will be much more than that now. Um, so, Georgie, if you're listening, wherever this video is going to be, put put uh, what the update is. I'd love you to, to do that. So George has done so well. And what George said about my training with him is JJ's course has given me the confidence to get out there and promote my profile and ultimately speak around the world. Thanks, JJ. I couldn't have done it without you. I love that. And then I've got beautiful Andrea who travelled the globe as a, a speaker and has been offered 26 opportunities to speak internationally. Um, she's done some great stuff. Um, and she's in the dental industry. She's done an amazing, amazing work there. Uh, here's some corporate that I've done with uh, Wrigley. Shannon Young says, Janelle just facilitated a training session at our Pacific Sales Conference and her energizing style mixed with examples that related and motivated the field sales group resulted in a successful outcome of learning and engagement. Um, and then Melbourne Airport, which I've done some, some great work with. So at the end, I just want to say the learning possibilities are huge. And when we're learning, we often look at the stuff that we know that we don't know. That's usually the area we go to. So, for example, if we don't, we know that we don't know how to speak Spanish, we might say, oh, I want to learn to speak Spanish. I know that I don't know how to speak it. So that's an area that I'd like to learn or learn the piano. I've got a little piano at the back there I want to learn piano you might say so that's where we normally go and you'll see this chart and you'll see that the blue says what you know you know so there's the stuff that you know that you know and then there's the stuff that you know that you don't know so I don't know that I could speak Spanish then there's the stuff that you what you've forgotten you know and sometimes it pops back, oh, yeah, that's right, I learned that. And, it, and you get all excited, you think, yeah, I learned that, oh, yeah, I forgot about that. But then there's a whole world of all the stuff you don't know that you don't know. You don't even know that you should be look, learning it because it's behind the curtain. You haven't even seen it. You don't even know that's possible. And so that's where we're going to dive into. And that's a lot with that social condition. We don't even know how... We're influenced with our thinking. We can't even see it, but we're influenced all the time. We're influenced every time we go to a shop. Anything that you have bought, the clothes on your back, whatever's in your house, how you think, the language that you language, you have been influenced by something out there, whether it be going to a grocery store and buying that certain brand or reaching something that's at eye level or your child saying, I want that chocolate right next to the counter, right at their eye level, ready to, to reach. Or getting a cereal that you think is healthy because it's actually got that, it's with natural sort of colours and it says calcium and it says all this low fat or anything that triggers you to think that is healthy and you go and you grab it without maybe looking to see if that is true or not. We're influenced all the time. The music that we're hearing in the grocery store, where things are situated in the store, what happens in tele television, will that affect how what your morals are or, or not or your beliefs or your values or what you think is right and wrong from a television? Does that affect you? The music on the television, the signals on the television, the signage on the television, it's all social conditioning. Are you social conditioning others as a coach? Are you socially conditioning them in a way that's serving them and helping them achieve their goals in a really resourceful way? Or are you unconsciously making, putting in the way, putting in the direction of unresourcefulness? I don't know. Something to think about. And this is where we're going is to the, the levels or the direction of what you don't know, you don't know. And so I'm going to finish on this. Undergo a paradigm shift that elevates your awareness, enabling you to have a mindful and more purposeful way of living. This is what this training is about. If you are interested, 
make sure whether this video is on whatever social media platform or whether it's on the database, maybe you got it through an email, click the link and have a look because this is an investment. What is your life worth? What is it worth? And if you think about what the, the results that you want to get, whether it's financial, whether it's relationships, whether it be through wisdom, through you becoming even more of the person that you want to become, what is that worth from a dollar value or a time value? So you invest two days and you look behind the curtain and you change some beliefs that maybe you have had for 50 years that's not serving you, that's not getting you the results that you want. What would it do for you to change those patterns? How could your life be different in the next 12 months, five years, 10 years? How could your life be different if you don't change those things in 12 months, five years, 10 years? Have a look at this and see if this is something that you are prepared to make a change for. If it is, brilliant. Click the spot. Click the link and make sure that you get your spot. There's only 20 spots for each course. So whoever gets in first will get the spots. I'm excited about the change that we're going to have together, the great conversations we're going to have and the amazing transformation that's going to happen in the room. So thank you, guys. I trust that that's been valuable for you and that you've got a lot out of those insights. I'd love to see as many of you in the room as possible. So ensure that you contact me uh, if you've got any questions and I look forward to seeing as many of you guys there as possible. Thanks, guys. I will talk to you later. See you later.